This week, the GBI arrested the former warden for his role in a prison contraband ring. Oh, no, we look anything. Was breaking headlines. We look at each other and everyone. No officer have came back in this building and checked on nobody in over three hours. We have an inmate here that is dead. We do not believe that there are other people don't have no saint as of right now. Fishing. Tart is not fleshing. Saint is not working. This is what they give us. I wouldn't be surprised if that's happening. I wouldn't be surprised. Major if that's prison happening. scandal. More than 40 current and former guards under arrest. Wednesday night, the Georgia Bureau of Investigations charged Adam with conspiracy to violate the Racketeering Influenced Corrupt Organizations Act. Help us. Help Corrupt us. Organizations Help us. Act. They allegedly helped inmates get drugs into the prison Corrupt and helped them transport the drugs through the state while wearing their uniforms Corrupt so that the police would be less likely to stop. Today is uh, Sunday morning. It's now approximately uh, 4.30 a.m. Investigator Phillips is here at Tappy County Jail conducting an interview with uh, James Mark Slater. Uh, Mr. Slater is a white male. Date of birth is 164. Is that correct? Mr. Slater, can we read you your Miranda warning? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Have any rights in mind? Do you wish to talk to me now? I didn't do anything. Okay. In order for me to get into the details of what was going on, I have to advise you of your rights, okay? All right. If you say yes, you talk to me, and at a later point you decide you don't want to talk no more, all you got to say, I don't want to talk no more, I want my attorney, and the interview will be ended, okay? How about I listen to what you got to say, but I don't, I don't know what we did wrong. I'm totally legal. I got the driver's license. I got the insurance. Do you want to talk to me now? Sure. Print your name there and sign here for me. It's not a meeting that you're going to write a statement or ask me any of my questions. It's a statement that you have been advised of your rights and you do know what your rights are. Can you give me one of them cigarettes? No, sir. Can't do that. Okay. James, um, how old are you? 50. 50. Have you ever been incar incarcerated before? Sure have. Uh, for what? Uh, gun smuggler. You've been incarcerated within the Georgia Department of Corrections? Yes, sir. How many years did you serve? Oh, God, off and on, about 25. How many years have you been out of prison? About three or four months. Three or four months. Where was you last incarcerated at? Rogers. When did you get out of Rogers? March 28th. March 24th. Uh, this year? Yes, sir. You on probation? Uh, not yet. What do you mean not yet? My probation ain't started yet. You on parole? Yep. Okay. Three months. Who's your parole officer? Riddick. Riddick? Out of Macon? Yep. Okay. Um, you served time in federal prison? Yep. For what? Guns. How many years you served in federal prison? Fifteen and a half. Alright. This is the way it goes. You been at Rogers. So you're familiar with Tatna County. I'm on you already know. In Tatna County there's three prisons in this one county, okay? Yes. Sir. You have Rogers, GSP, and Smith State Prison. Yes. Sir. All right. We get a lot of contrabands being introduced inside the prisons here, okay? I know that's true. We arrest a lot of civilians. We arrest them all the time, okay? Yes. Sir. All right, they come from everywhere. Yes. This, okay? You at Rogers. You know where you was going, you know what you were doing. There ain't no doubt in my mind that you didn't go out there and make a drop. The reason why I say that, we got your footprints. You don't have my footprints, I never got out of my truck, sir. We got your footprints going up to the dairy, okay? You're crazy. What I'm asking you for is right here now. Either you can be straight with me or you can continue to lie. We got the meth packs out of your vehicle. Got a small bag of crystal meth out of you. Man. No, you didn't. You get no crystal meth out of my vehicle. Yes, sir, we did. No, it's impossible. Yeah, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's impossible. I didn't have nothing in my vehicle. Yeah, so. you did. 
The only thing I had in my vehicle was my girl, and I know she had some pills in her vehicle. What about two meth packs? That was, in, that was in, your, in your work bag. I, I don't know nothing about that. I pick up parolees every day for a halfway house. I move them from my move one yesterday. They put shit back and forth in my truck. I don't know. In the back of my truck, I move people for a man that has a bunch of pro houses. And I moved a guy yesterday. He was being moved for smoking dope. And we packed all his property up and put it in there. His hard hat and a bunch of stuff, if he is, is in my truck. I know nothing about none of that. I've not touched any math pipes. There's not no guess drugs what? in guess my what? truck. Guess what? What's that? You said key word. What's that? In my truck. I move and for right. I for a to do with that. They get in trouble you when they locked up. When the court time comes, you have to prove that to the judge and jury. All right, well, all right, so there's, there might be uh, some pipes that got left when I moved an inmate for my boss yesterday who's an upstanding citizen of the community. I was coming down here to Lyons to see her cousin, and we got down here. And I only had $2 left and was waiting for some money on my rush card. We didn't have a place to stay. I said, I'm going to drive you over here and show you where I used to be in prison. And that's it. I turned around and left. I did not make a drop. You did not get no drop from me. I do not do that. I shoot straight with you. Now, my boss, who's an upstanding uh, member of the community and runs 18 parole houses, and I deliver inmates and pick inmates up for him, will tell you that I moved a man yesterday and he left his hard hat and a bunch of other stuff in my truck, in the back of the truck, that we was in a hurry. We just didn't get it. I move people all the time, sir. I did not make a drop in this prison. If you find a drop, I kiss your butt because I ain't never made a drop. You do not have my boot prints getting in my truck. All I did was turn my truck around and left my full coverage insurance, driver's license on my vehicle. I have no reason to do anything. I make good money. We was just down here visiting her cousin. Who's her cousin? Uh, Jerry Fuller or somebody. Jerry Fulkner. What time you left me? What time you left me? Uh, shh, I don't know. About maybe 10.30, 11 o'clock or so. And it took y'all that long? Yeah, we stopped off and got some something to drink and bought some cigarettes and put some gas in the truck. We're not doing nothing. She's never been arrested for anything, as far as I know, from what she told me. I think she's a clean girl. I don't know. She's my girlfriend. I, she's been my girlfriend for a while now. Uh, I love the girl to death. Well, she's uh, going to jail. You got her going to jail tonight. Well, I understand she's going to jail, and I understand why she's going to jail. She's bipolar. She's going to We found the drop. We found the drop at the dairy. We found a package. You didn't find no package for me. Yes, we did. No, sir, you didn't. No, sir. No, sir, you didn't. This your phone? Yes, sir. That's you give me phone. consent to search it? I don't, you can search it. I don't care. There's two inmates on there I know. Uh, I know a bunch of inmates. There's there's probably six or seven inmates on my contact list because I'm in contact with them daily. Really? Why well, are you in right. contact with them? Because I work for the, a parole house, man. Uh -huh. They owns a bunch of parole houses. The guys call me with the problems. They call me for rides. Who's they, greasy? Huh? Who's greasy? Just dude we know. What's the name? Breezy. What's his name? What's his name? Yeah. I don't know his name. You uh, was incarcerated with him. Sure, that's all I know is Breezy. Uh, he, that's all you know is Breezy. Yeah, that's all I know is Breezy. Uh, so he texts you today, want to know what time you leave it. What time I leave? Uh huh. So? Well, uh-huh. What's that got to do with anything? Well, what time you leave to make it to come bring the damn drop. Look no, here, let me tell you something now. I listen to you. Listen to me. Look at me. I listen to you. Okay? I told you before we started, I don't mind working with nobody. Okay? I don't have a problem helping nobody. Well, how you going Listen to, to me. Listen to me. When you talk, I didn't say a word, did I? No, sir. You're right. right. I don't mind working with nobody. And I don't mind trying to help somebody. We all make bad decisions. Yes, sir. At times, okay? Yes, sir. We all get hard up and need some extra cash. That's right. And that's an easy way to make some easy cash. Okay, yeah. I understand all that. Yes. Make a bad decision, but you being no, you being incarcerated. Yes, you know how it is inside of the prison system. Sure, you man. know how this drugs and stuff is. Okay, sure. Man. My job and my objective is to keep it out as best that I can, 
and try to get the ones that's getting it in there. Okay? That's my job. Okay? Well, tell me how you can help me out. I'm going to be the man that's taking the warrants and doing the charges. Okay? I'm the man that's going to be doing that. What I need from you, you be straight with me, and I promise you, I'll be straight with you. I have no reason to lie to you. Listen to me. You put it in writing, and I give you all kinds of stuff. My word is my bond. Well, word ain't no good right here, man. Y'all have nothing on me, sir. My well, I can prove it better than I can tell you. If that's uh, what you, no, I told you, I found the package. We got the package. I don't you, know what you're talking about. I know you, you're going to say that. you supposed uh, to say that. you supposed to say that. My fingerprints ain't on it. It wasn't in my truck. Don't worry about that, brother. All right. Well, all right. So, uh, how, how, that, how can you remember? When you was in the jail, and the, uh, the jailer took a uh, picture of your shoe. Sure. All right, he sent that picture to the, uh, the officer out there on the scene. We got your foot tracks. Walk them all the way up to the dairy, okay? We no, know, you I know not. You. Yes, I did. No, you did Well, not. I'm charging you with the package. I'm charging you. You're going to be charged with it. And with whatever else is in your vehicle. There ain't nothing else in my vehicle. So you on, you on parole. You're going to be revoked. I got I got three months parole left. Uh, All right, so they can... And then you probation. Uh, what about it? I ain't on probation yet. They can't do nothing about that. So what, what, what can you do for me, and what can I do for you? You tell me what you can do for All me, right. and I'll tell you what I can do for you. What can you do for me? I don't, I, well, that depends on what you can do for me. If you let me walk out of this jail and get my truck. No, you ain't walking out tonight. I can't well, do that. Well, I ain't got another second. You're not walking out of jail tonight. Well, I ain't got another second. You might walk out of jail Monday morning, but you won't walk out tonight. Well, We're going to go through the formalities. I'm going to do the warrants on you. I'm going to charge you. You're going to be charged. Well, well I'm, I'm telling you right now, sir, if you say that you've got my footprints leading up to that dairy, I'm telling you you're wrong. Well, you I'm telling you you're wrong. You gotta prove it. And you're gonna have to put you're gonna have to put some fingerprints on me. You're gonna have to put I can give you all kinds of stuff. I did four and a half years down at Roger. I don't know you probably did. You can't give me and you probably work in there. there. You probably No, work I ain't there. work nowhere. I didn't have a job. Well, I, I worked on the inside the whole time I was in. Well you know, as soon as I get to my office in the morning, I'm gonna find out everything about you. Find it's out about you. I was medically on the side okay. the whole time I was down. I got a bad back. You know all about the drops. You know all about sure, it. Sure, you know who Greasy knows about You know Greasy name. Well, what, what about it? Well, who is Greasy? Well, Are you affiliated? Am I affiliated? Yeah. No, I ain't affiliated. I'm not affiliated with nobody. Okay. Never have been, never will be. How much you got paid? I ain't got paid nothing. You didn't get no money on me. You got $200, Green Dot. When was that? Hmm? When was that? Don't worry about it. No, you tell me when that I don't have a $200 Green Dot. I know you don't. You got confirmation of it. That's for her mother. That's for her mother. So why did it go? To, why did it go to her phone? Because her phone's fucked up. It won't work. No, it's you not. Go, yes, we just it use her phone. Me and her just yes, use her phone. Yes, but it don't work half the time. You can call her mother and ask her. Her some Tiffany or somebody in her family sent her mother a green dot on my phone, a confirmation number. What time you get off today? Tonight? You today? When you work today? What time you get off? What time I get off? Uh, uh, maybe about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. So why y'all waiting? Why y'all waiting so late to come to the lines? Because I had things to do. I'm moving into a house. Oh, okay. I'm moving into a house. I had to get paid. I had to see my boss and get my money. I had to help move some people around. So when you got off, what did you do? You go home and pick her up, or what? I went home. We had sex and uh, took a shower and went and visited a couple of friends and drove down this way. That's what we did. And the money, the $200 green dot, went to her mother. You could call her mother. She said you get up to 9.30. When? Tonight. I'm always working, man. I'm always doing well, You stuff. say you just got no. up at 2.30. No. She said 9. Damn, that's a big difference there, buddy. Why hell? Who cares? What does that got to do with anything? What time I got off work? What time I got anything? It's serious. I'm just showing you how y'all lying. So what? I don't know what time I got off. I ain't got a watch. I don't keep track. Her phone half ass works. The green dot on that phone come to her mother. Her mother put it on her card and well, she used that, my you phone. Know, you know, James. And that's, you that's know, the James. God's honest truth. Call you, and ask you, me, know, man. You know, James, it sounds like to me. And you ain't getting no drop it no day because sound, I ain't been on no sound, property of the state of Georgia. It sounds like to me, James, that you are... 
you like being incarcerated more than you like being Man, free. I got three months on parole left. What are they going to do for me? That they, that's all they did to me. You did not get no drop from me. You're going to be, you got, got the meth packs out the truck. Got a small bag of, got I a could, small bag of meth. No, you didn't get no small bag of meth. You damn lie. I'm telling you what I got out of the truck. You didn't get no meth out of my truck. I'd be damned if I did. Really, you're crazy. You didn't get no meth out of my truck. You going to tell me? Now, you may have got some damn You going to tell me? Don't tell Where'd me what I didn't get now. Don't tell me what I did not Where'd get. Where'd you get it at? In your truck, in that briefcase. That That's not mine. Well, who's who's it? about that? It's in your there. truck? Is, is anything, of, is it, what, does that briefcase have lock holes on it? It got all your paperwork in it. It ain't got nothing of mine in there. You're a damn liar. I'm not a damn liar. It don't have not one piece of paperwork for me in there. You're bet. Unless y'all put, it ain't got one piece of paperwork for me in there. Well, not one piece of I'm paper. I'm telling you, it, it does. No, it don't. Yes, it does. No, it don't. Well, you gonna be charged with it. Well, charge me whatever you want to charge me with. Y'all ain't caught me making no drops. Y'all ain't caught no drops. If you found a drop, it may have been one y'all found sometime a long time ago. But you damn sure don't have my book prints. You gonna tell me? Yeah. No, yes, no, sir. No, I'm you're gonna not. Take no, you're not. I'm telling you, buddy. I told you before I started. I don't have no reason to sit here and lie to you. All right, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you straight like it is. I may have been scoping out a drop. I may have not did no drop. I may have been scoping out a drop for somebody. <laughs> and guess okay. what? You will get charged for making one. No, I ain't, because I ain't I made one. I bet you $100 dollars you will get charged for I ain't made one. Yeah, I bet you is. Well, charge me whatever you want to. I don't want to, brother. I have a If you want to sit there and be a dumb ass and try to be slick and bad, I, you I can told do you. That. I told you I could help you. I told you I could help you. You can't help me. Then, then that's fine. No, you talking about putting something in writing? You gonna put it in? You gonna put yours in writing? You gonna sure, write everything? I'll put it in my everything mind. you tell me, you gonna put it in writing? Sure. He makes name mind. and all. You gonna put sure, it in writing? Sure, I put it in writing. All right, come on in. You let me go. What you want? Walk, let me walk out that door right now and get my truck and go to my house and get some money and come down here and make my bond for my girl. And I'll tell you what you want. No, no I'll you just be crazy. You think I'm going to go with that? Well, well you can I got believe you what you want. You, I ain't got, you. you got me here in the jail? Yeah. I got three months left, man. I ain't worried about parole. That girl's going to be there. I ain't worried about parole, man. I'm talking about the charges you new charges. What charges? I ain't done nothing. I just told you you're not listening to me. The only thing I know that was in my truck, and I'm going to tell you, sir, I can prove right now through... A man that runs a parole house. I ain't got nothing to do about no man that runs no right. parole house, okay? Right. I don't care about no upstanding citizen right. running the parole house. I'm talking about you and what's in your vehicle and what I got with you tonight. The only thing I'm talking about what you did, I did. okay? What you let Greasy talk you into doing to make you some money, okay? You and Greasy, all right? You know That's what I'm talking about. No, I don't know a, you. A ghost motherfucker? No, I don't know who hired me to come but, down here. But I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out who hired me. 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 I don't need your help for that. I can give you all kinds of stuff, you know, man. But I ain't just like, you know, you've been in prison long. You know there's, right. there's snitches in prison. That's right. And they will tell. They know who they are. I can find out who they are. What are you going to tell? So what? What? Am I going to testify against that man? I know, because you're too scared. That might be true. Now, that, that is true. I'm not a gangbanger. Well, you're going to do just what they tell you to do. And that's why you did what you did tonight. What did I scared. do tonight? You, what you did. You know what you did. You ain't found no drop for me. You going to tell me? You ain't found no drop for me. No, sir, you I'll did not. i tell you what, I put like this in. If it wasn't your drop, you won't get charged with it. How am I going to get charged with it? You can't prove I did nothing. Uh -huh. I turned around in the damn well, you, uh, guess public what? street. Guess what? That was not a public street, buddy. You turned around. When you pull in that little driveway at that gate, I didn't pull in no, I pulled into the man's house, my truck. That ain't no damn no. man's house. The dairy farm is right there in front of where you turned around. Where you pulled up. I you pulled into channel. a house on the left. No, nah, buddy. No. You yes, I right. Did. You was to the right. No, I was not. My truck does not have no power steering on it. It locks up half the time. I backed up. I backed up into the man's driveway and turned around and had to fucking grab the steering wheel. I did not. I, parked, I pulled up in the man's driveway and turned around. There's no driveway on that roadway. Right? Yes, yes, there is. There's fucking all kinds of houses on the driveway, man. Oh, you, man, that's all right that's there bullshit. There get and you ain't found no drop that I made because I ain't made no drop. Maybe I'm scouting for a drop. Maybe there's a bunch of shit coming into your prison that you don't know about. That's Maybe good. that's my they, job. They do it all the time. But I ain't make no drop. They do it if all no time. one has seen me make no drop, no one has nothing with my fingerprints on it, no one has nothing. With me on it, no one seen me. All a cop did was see me turn around, illegal, 
illegal stop. I've done nothing. I have full coverage insurance on my truck and a valid driver's license. That's the only thing. That man has That's not the seen only me do nothing. That's the only thing you got going for you right now. And you have no valid footprints. Insurance. You have no blueprints of my boots going on state property, period. I won't do that. Maybe I'm a scout for somebody. Maybe that's what I do. You know what? Maybe that's what I do. You Maybe that, but that $200 green dot is her mama's. Really? Yes, sir. They call her an aspirin. Really? Yes, sir. Really? It's her mama's. Really? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Yeah, I know a couple of inmates down here in Rogers, and I talk to them all the time. Yeah. That's right, I do. Yeah. But I, you know, I might do some work for them. But I ain't made no drop on this prison and won't never you know, make no I'm, drop on this prison. I'm going to see Greasy in the morning. No, go see Greasy, I don't care. And I'm going to tell Greasy you gave him up. Well, go tell Greasy I gave him up. I am. Won't you go tell Greasy I gave him up? I'm going to do. Because he's going to say you're full of shit. Okay. <laughs> he's that gang baby. What are you going to say? You better hope he did. I don't care what he says. And they know me better than that anyway. I've got. You want help? You help me. You don't want to help? You ain't got nothing on me. All I did was turn around in a man's driveway. And a cop seen me turn around and pull me over. And illegally searched my truck, never arrested me, never did shit. Put me in handcuffs and, and found some pills out of, out of prescription on my lady. Those are her scripts and her mother's scripts. And she'll get out of that. She'll get out money. That's the only thing we did. That's, we was coming down here anyway. Y'all have not got me making no drops, sir. Now, I can give you drops, and I can give you nice paper by drops. I can give you everybody in prison that's getting drops. I can even tell you a bunch of places where they're making the drops. You can't give me nothing. I mean, you're right, then. Because all you're going to do is lie. Well. <laughs> you don't know how to tell the truth. Well, no, I do know how to tell the truth, no, but I know when to shut my fucking mouth. You know how to tell the truth. I know when to shut my mouth. I know when y'all ain't got nothing on me because I ain't done nothing. You know like that. What do you got on me? I'm going to show you. When you sign these, when I bring these warrants back to you tomorrow, Monday morning, you're going to know what I have on you, okay? Uh, well, all right, bring the warrants. My boss, my I boss. I see you talking about your boss, your my boss, your boss. boss works boss. for the Department of Corrections. I, I don't care. For the Department of Corrections. I don't care. Your boss don't, don't just because your boss is a good man don't make you a good man. Just that's because your right. boss got a good business that's doesn't right. make you do the right thing. That's right. You the that one. man will testify that he had me low. You the one. That he had me and three more inmates that are at his halfway, that are at his transitional centers. All right. And I'm not at one of his no more. All right. I work for the man. I took. A motherfucker got locked up the other day for smoking crack. I picked all this property up and throwed it in. They just throw it in the back of my truck. I take it over to his office and stack it in his office. Oh, you they did? Just knocked the, yes, sir. And they just locked the guy up today and kicked another guy out of the house. And that's where I was working at. I went and picked his stuff up, a whole truckload of stuff, and left some of his stuff, uh, a bag of toiletries, a hard hat, and whatnot. And those ain't my tools. Those are his tools. So it just happened today. You yes, to today. Get, yes, sir. Today, you just forgot to take the stuff out the truck. I was in a hurry. I've been working all weekend. You I worked till 10 o'clock. You was in a hurry. You, any other day, you would take it out. No. But I'm today, what? you forgot to take it out. Take what out? The um, the people's property, the other people's stuff. No, I had a whole truckload of stuff, and I unloaded it into his office, at his office, with help, with witnesses, a whole bunch of witnesses, sir. I moved the man out of for smoking meth and crack and doing pills. Dang, oh, he doing all that? Yeah, he's doing it. That's man, why he got kicked out of the house, man. Crack and pills? Yeah, or whatever they accused him of and stealing a bunch of shit. Really? I packed the man's shit up and moved it today in my truck. Really? Today, this morning. Really? And the hard hat's his and everything. I don't know. Really? There's a hard hat in the truck. There's a tote bag truck. We just grabbed all of his baggage and his net bags and stuff and put them in the office and I drove off. Really? That's right. And you don't have to believe me, but but Mr. Raheem don't runs the prison mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. for the BOP. Mm -hmm. My my girlfriend, mm -hmm. the man that the shit belonged to, got kicked out of his prom house. Mm. All that shit. He's got all that man's shit in his office. So you can believe what you want to believe, sir. But I work hard for every penny I got. So, and let me ask you this question. And you ain't get me with no drugs. So let me ask you this question. So 
How y'all get past uh, Joey Fuller's house? Who? Joey. I don't know who Joey Fuller is. You don't know who Joey Fuller is? No. I have no idea who Joey Fuller is, and, and I'm telling you, sir, you do not have my football. Well, y'all coming out here to see Joey Fuller? Huh? Well, that's what y'all coming to see? No, we're just coming out here to see Jerry Fuller. Jerry? Okay, yeah. Fuller. Yeah. I mean, why y'all get by Jerry's house? How y'all pass his house? I missed the exit. It hit exit 104, so I thought we'd cut through and cut back up. Hmm. I missed the Reesville exit. I come on 104. It's where I come off at. What happened with that? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's better. I missed my exit because the exits are all fucked up. They go from 90 to 98 to 204 to 216 to whatever. I missed my exit. So I said, well, hell, baby, let me swing around here and show you where I was at prison at. Now, that's my story. And y'all ain't got no drop from me because uh, I ain't made no drop. So why were you turning around down there by the dairy road where Rodney State Prison was on the main road? The prison where you was at, you kept straight and you went past the prison. I didn't go past the prison. Not where you were stopped at. I didn't stop nowhere. I turned around in a man's driveway, sir. In a man's driveway. Uh, y'all do not have this wait, 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 Where the officer go saw you at. Where the officer saw you at. The officer was on the other side of the road. I seen him coming up there. He, I was already making the turn. I backed up and was going to turn around okay. into the man's driveway. Right, and then you backed up, turned around, and you went up to the stop sign, correct? Yeah. And we got to the stop sign, you made a right, correct? Sure. Rogers is straight down the road to the left. We'd already been by Rogers. I'm going back to, to where I know All to right. get to the So when you come back from Rogers... Why did you make that right turn and go down that road there, which is Highway 160? Because I'm going back to Mayor, where I come from. That road don't go to Mayor. I don't. Yes, it does. It does it don't. I come back and going back the way I come from Mayor. From Mayor. Through Collins or whatever that town uh -huh. is. Yes, sir. And it goes all the way to Mayor. Right. You know where the front of Roger State Prison is? You know sure, I do. You know that road that's in front of Roger State Prison? Yeah. All right. That road right there now. Yeah. Runs you right back in the region, okay? Yeah. That's where we was going. All right. The stop sign that you was at. That's right. It's not in front of Roger State Prison. No, it's not. So why were you on that road? Because I thought we'd get back the lines through that way and I could cut back. And I said, no, this ain't right. We got to go back to Reesville and cut back over to get the line. And I turned around and come back. And that's God's honest truth. You believe what you want to believe, but you do not have me drop and drop. I might be the scout for these people, and I am the scout for them. I'll let you know that now. I am the scout for them. You ain't a good scout. Yeah, I am the scout. You're not a good scout. Oh, I am a good scout. No, you're not. You okay. got caught. I get caught what? I didn't get do nothing. Yes, you did. What did I do? Possession of methamphetamine. Possession of drug-related object. What drug-related object? Crack packs, what the, crack the pack? meth pack, the meth pack. Um, meth, there's no line, meth in that. Crossing guard line. I didn't cross no guard lines. Yes, you did. I did not cross no guard lines. I turned around and I crossed the fence. I didn't cross no fence. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Well, that's what you say. We have to argue. That's not that. what I say. There's a timeline where I stopped at the grocery store right there in Reesville. How did I do all that shit? And I stopped out there and bought two damn purple fucking slushies for me and my old lady who is still frozen in the, in, the, in the truck at a certain time, and I can prove that. How am I going to do all that when all I did was go by the prison, turn around, and, and swing back and go back out? I didn't do nothing. And you ain't found no drop for me because I'm the scout. I'm the scout. So what you scouting? Huh? You I scout, scout drops. You scout them. That's right. They want, me to, they want me to scout out the cannon plant. They want me to scout out the dairy. They want me to scout out the city of lines, work detail. They want me to scout it out and figure out the best place to put their fucking drops. I don't make the drops. So what you come up with? Huh? I come up with all kinds of stuff. And and I know where all the drops go. Because I work for the gangsters. Okay? You work for the That's city. right. That's yeah. right. They threaten me. They pay me. I keep my mouth shut. I work for the gangsters. Gang affiliated. I'm not a gangster. I don't do that. I do not do nothing illegal. I do not do nothing illegal. My old lady may have had some pills out of her container. What is, I mean, if, 
you scout for them. Uh, that's right. You can spar them with them. That's illegal. You can spar them what? To make a drop. You you going out scouting and spar? drops. You you told me to be honest with you and tell you what I get. Well, you say you ain't doing nothing illegal. I'm just answering your question. What did I do? I'm not dropping nothing. I'm not crossing no guard lines. I'm not crossing the drop. You tell them where the best place to put it at. That might be there. true. Yes, sir. It might be. It might be true. Oh. That might be true. I might drive by during the day and look at it, and I might come back and drive by at night and see what guards are living in houses and which ones ain't, and what might be the best way to get it in, what might not be. And I might have a whole bunch of contacts, and I tell them and get on the phone and tell them how to get it. And that might be the fact. But you did not catch me with a drop. I did not do a drop. You know, just bust a drop the day before yesterday. I know about that drop y'all busted out there. That's, that's why they sent me down here. Day before yesterday. Yeah, day before yesterday, they made a bust over at the dairy. That's why I drove by the dairy to see what it was to fucking give them away. That's why I went by the dairy. I have not made a drop anywhere. I've not done any. It's not illegal to ride down the streets of America. And if there's crack pipes in my truck, it come out of a damn inmate's room that I emptied out today and left part of his shit in my truck and can prove it. And can well, prove it. So y'all can believe what y'all want to believe. Well, the Department of Corrections put me in a place where I live with a bunch of inmates. My boss, who owns all these houses where he houses inmates, uses me through permission of my parole officer to pick up inmates from the bus station and to take them to his houses and to relocate them to other houses and to pick up their shit when they get locked up and move it to his office. And that's the God's honest truth and I can prove that. I can prove it without a shadow of doubt. If there's some math pipes in my truck, they come out of that man's shit because I do not do nothing. I do not drink. I smoke cigarettes, and that's all I do. Well, I'm telling you, it's in your vehicle. Well, I can prove I can prove where they come from. And you're responsible for your vehicle. You're right. You sure are, sir. You sure are right that I am responsible for what happens in my truck. But I am not responsible when the Department of Corrections makes me go somewhere and moves me into a house. And the only job I got, because I got a vehicle, is to work for the man that runs pro house, running around with a bunch of damn inmates. So I'm asking you this question. If you got a prison, why are you still in contact with inmates? They called me. I talked to them. I was locked up with them for four years. And yeah, I just told you, man. I just told you. The guys asked me to scout when they have a problem. They've been making a drop for the same place at the dairy for three years. It got busted a couple of days ago. They wanted me to see what was the matter with it and why it got busted. Not to step foot on state property. I did not step foot on where state property. Where did they find it at there? Um, they, they found it um, right outside. Um, as far as I know, from what I understood, when you pass that gate to the dairy, uh -huh. where it goes into the hole right there, uh -huh. They're supposed to make bacon the drop at the end of the fence line right there. That's all I know. And for some reason it got dropped. They want to know what give it away, why it got dropped, and where would be a better place out there to drop it. I have not crossed foot on state line. I can, I, you know. You work with me, I work with you. I can tell you when the drops come in. I can tell you how many packs of cigarettes are coming in. I can tell you how much methamphetamine is coming in. I can tell you how much... Who marijuana's bring, coming in. Who bringing it? Huh? Who bringing it? Well, Greasy's bringing in a lot of it. The Mexicans are doing, some Mexicans are bringing in a lot of it. No, I mean, they're getting it brought in. They're not actually doing it. I mean, who's bringing it on from the outside? Oh, oh, I don't know who brings it in. They don't, I'm not privileged to that information. I work with them. I roll up cigarettes on my spare time into bombs for them. Okay? I get paid to do that. One of their wives bring me the cigarettes, maybe 100 packs, 150 packs, 200 packs. I make $100 for every 100 packs. I roll up into a bomb. And when they need, when they need to go over to the parks and recreations and, and pay me to drive down there and look around the parks and find a good place to make a drop for them, I find them a place. I might make them a place to make a drop, okay? I'm not saying that, but I have never crossed state lines. I might go out city lines. I know about the the um, what's uh, this uh, form up here? Um, I can't think the UGA form. Uh -huh. All right, 
Uh -huh. I know all kinds of drops going on there. I know about all kinds of drops going on at the cannon plant. I know all about kinds of drops going on at the dairy. I know all about it. I know how they do it. I'm the one that told them that the only way to get a drop in at the dairy, at the cannon plant, is to walk, walk the river and come up behind the river and come to the wood line and put the shit in a bucket and throw it over the fence into the dumpster of the dairy, of the cannon plant. I told them that that's the, looking at it day and night and looking at it and looking at GPS on the computer, that that's the only way I could see them doing it. But they dumbasses got busted on that too. I know all about it. I don't do that. I'm not a dumbass. I get paid to go and look and observe. I get paid to roll cigarette stuff. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to straight to you like a hunter. I get paid to roll up cigarettes in the bombs and the old ladies come pick it up. Who greasy old lady? Yeah. Who's greasy? What's his name? Well, uh, uh, man, you, you asked me for shit to get me killed, bro. What's in it for me? I'm going to find out who he is. Well, you can find out who it is. Greasy is not a name. It's not a last name. It's a nickname. It's a nickname. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. You, you're, you're not going to find him. Where's he at? Is he at Rogers? Is, is he at, at GSP? Is he at Smith? Because I've, I've done scouted out for um, Hayes. I've done scouted out for Smith. I don't scan it out very long. You know why? Because I did 30 years in prison. I'm fucking trusted. The dudes trust me. They know me. And uh, I keep my mouth shut. So what's in it for me? You need some help? You let me go. Let me go home and get me some money and come down here and bail my stupid ass old lady out of jail for her stupid ass bullshit. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I can prove where the fucking... If there was, if there was any illegal drugs, I'll roll 100. I rode 100. I got full coverage insurance on my truck. I owe on that truck. Not much. I owe a little bit on that truck. Okay? But I got full coverage insurance on my truck. I got a driver's license. I'm 100. I do not do no bullshit. I scout. I roll up some cigarettes for them at my house. It ain't illegal for me to do that. It's not illegal for someone to drop me off 200 packs of beer and say, here's some baggies and put them in baggies and roll them up. It's not illegal for me to do that. I'm not in prison. Tobacco's legal. Do it in my house, on my property. Do not make drops. I know you, you there's no way I can get out of my truck. Did not get out of my truck. You do not have my boot print, and that's a military boot. That's not a military boot. That's a military boot. Everybody in this farm wearing military boots, and the state boots are damn near just like them, but they're black. Come on, man. Y'all can't let them come. See what size them boots was. That's what you do. Go see what size them. And if you got a drop, it ain't come from me. I might know who did it. I might know who did it. And I may have been watching them when they did it. But I ain't did it. I might be the man that walks, rides behind them and makes sure they fucking do what they're supposed to do. Okay? When you're talking about 200 pack of cigarettes, it's $20,000, sir. It's $20,000. They sell that in one prison in a week, one man. Okay? I know they get methamphetamines in. I know about 10 ounces of methamphetamines been dropped several times, five ounces dropped. I don't drop it. I watch the motherfuckers pick it up and take it. I scout the work areas out. I'm the trusted motherfucker. I don't put my hands on no dirt. I ain't allowed to put my hands on no dirt. So you've been doing all that for since you've been out? That's right. That's right. I was given a choice. I could make me some money and cooperate with them, or I could not. One way or the other. I ain't fun making, okay? I ain't fun making. So why are you living there? But the state made me go there. Right in the middle of gangster and bloodland. I live in the fucking projects, man. I ain't got no way around nothing. I live in the projects with all of them. All it takes is a phone call, man. Come on. You know like All it takes is a phone call in there to get someone killed. I ain't touching. I'm not allowed to touch nothing, sir. You want straight? I'm shooting straight with you. I'm not allowed to touch a drop. I'm not allowed to make a drop. I follow the motherfuckers in a green truck. Sometimes I follow one and I can prove it. I can prove it. Sometimes they pay for me to rent a car. I go rent a Chrysler 300 or a Chevrolet Equinox. 
from Enterprise, and I follow motherfuckers around when they pick it up, when they pick the drop up, and take it to where they're going, and I follow them motherfuckers, sleep in the same hotel room with you. You want me to prove that too? That's, that's my job. I do not put my hands on nothing. My old lady is stupid ass for taking her fucking pills and bringing it on the trip. She shouldn't have never brought her pills on the trip. Her pills are legal. Some of her pills are maybe in the wrong containers, but she'll get out of that. Some of those are her mama's. She lives in a house with her mama. Her mama's mental health. She keeps her pills. All right, my old lady is stupid. She's she's bipolar, and she's on mental uh, mental disability. Okay, and she does stupid shit like not keeping her pills in proper containers, and that's what she's in trouble for. You cannot get us from making no drop because I ain't made no drop. I watched the drop. So what do you want to know? That's what I want to know. You want to know the motherfucker that's that's making seventeen to twenty thousand dollars a week. You want to get him? You want to get his wife? You want to get the Mexicans? That's what I want. That's, that's what you want. That's what I know that's what you want. And but y'all can't get them without me. You can't get them without me. You're not gonna get them without me because these boys know me. They know I ain't gonna say a goddamn word because I ain't done nothing. And if I did something, I'm stupid and I'd have to take my hit myself. All right, it's stupid that I fucking went and picked the M8 shit up yesterday, okay? And took it to my boss's house, but he'll testify for it. I just did two houses for him for state inspection for Monday morning. He's getting all his trash out and kicking people out. I can prove where that stuff went, all right? You want to know who Greasy is? Greasy, Greasy makes fucking, he makes drops all over. He makes drops at Rogers, he makes drops at Reedsville, he makes drops at Smith, he makes drops at High Hayes. Why do you think it's in code? Why do you think it's shit's in code? Where he at? I'm, I'm not telling you nothing. Until you, you work with me, I work with you. That's how it works, but I tell you, he's on one of these two compounds. He's at Rogers. He is? How you know that? Cause I know. How you know that? Cause I know. Well, he might be. There's 1,500 motherfuckers at Rogers. What you got, my word? How about you get the next drop that comes in? When is it coming? Huh? Next week. What time? There, there's two drops coming next week. What time? Well, shit, man, I don't know what time. That's between them and the people that drop. All I do is get a phone call, say, follow this motherfucker. Go to Enterprise. There, there's uh, a call waiting on you. Not my name, sir. Not my name. I go to Enterprise. One of them's old lady pulls up with a, a brand new rental car, and I drive the motherfucker. But you don't, uh, you don't follow them on all the drops. I don't follow them on all the drops. Just the motherfuckers that are just starting that ain't trusted. You gonna trust someone with with 10 ounces of methamphetamine that's worth a hundred thousand dollars? Are you gonna put someone behind them? You gonna trust someone that's delivering two pounds of pot and 400 packs of cigarettes? Come on, man. That's eighty thousand dollars. You gonna trust some stupid motherfucker out of making to do it? No. You gonna take someone you trust and you gonna have them watch them and follow them and stay in the fucking same motel as them and they don't even know it. Come on, man. You're dealing with tens of thousands of dollars. But what's in it for me? I'm not doing nothing wrong, okay? I've not done nothing wrong. I watch motherfuckers. I'm trusted. I know the names. I know where a lot of drops go. I can give you a city line drop. I can give you Rogers drop. Print your name here and sign there. What's Just that? Give me a consent to search your cell phone. I'm not giving you consent to search my cell phone. Go get a warrant. Alright. But you're not going to get nothing off my cell phone. You're not going to... Here, let me show you. No, give me a I'll show... I'm not going to do nothing. I'll show you. Don't I'll lie. show you, brother. Mm -mm. I'll show you a picture of Greasy. You can't see the picture of him. I'll show you a picture of his number two lieutenant. You can't see nothing. Why not just sign the thing? Give me the Why not? Because you ain't doing nothing for me. Lock me up. I ain't done nothing. I'm trying to give you something. You want something? I'm not going to give you nothing because y'all ain't got nothing on me. You got some methamphetamine? Let's get a fill. So I'm going to conclude this interview this time.